and we walk away from that and say, oh well, um, we'll let someone else try to fix it. We got us here, and we feel very proud of that. We want the opportunity to finish the job, and we have a team of sound that represents this entire province. Mr. Higgs, Mr. Higgs, I got one question. Those uh, drug rehab, th those drug rehab center, the old saying, you could bring a horse to, to water, but, so how do you plan to address that? You, you know, uh, you're right, and I, I'll tell you there's something that, that I have learned personally over the last year, two years, is um, just how difficult the process it is uh, to convince someone and to build, build that trust and relationship to convince them to actually, you know, get the treatment uh, or to go to the rehab. But what I also believe, and, and I have told some of you this before, is that if you're walking by homeless on the street and it's the middle of February and they're under a, a blanket or, or a cardboard and they're unconscious, they're either through mental health or addiction, but they can't respond, they can't speak to you, and it's 20 below, do we just walk on by? Knowing that the odds of them surviving the night is, is not, not good. So, so the point is, and we've seen it, I think that one of the illustrations we've talked about a lot is that whatever BC is doing, that is not the future we want to follow. Isn't it interesting that after all this time, BC are changing? And they actually are saying, you know, we're saying a Compassionate Intervention Act where we, we, we help people help themselves. But um, the Premier of BC is saying involuntary um, assistance or involuntary um, uh, care. So they have recognized that that model is not working. So why should we continue? We started this months ago, a year ago. But why should we continue? You had, you had these advocates saying that's not the way. You were harsh well, on them. I think they should talk to Premier Avi because it seems like he's changed his mind. Uh, okay, so we got... Uh, okay, so we got uh, okay, so uh, uh, you've taken his child care money, you've taken his health care money, so how bad have you been really? This is... Who again? You, well, you, you've accepted federal funding for child care, well, I guess you could say that, that you work with anyone to get the to make the best deal for the province. So to say that you know 